Lights. We need some lights. Where are the lights? Um... Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog and welcome here to a highly undisclosed location somewhere in America, the ultimate Ferrari cave. We have the Ferrari La Ferrari Aperta, one of 210 in the world. We got the De Tomaso, we got 328s, we got an Alpha 8C, we got a GT2 RS, a couple of Dinos, a couple of Porsches, but the La Ferrari Aperta somewhere. The keys, where are the keys? Anthony, where are the keys, dude? We need the keys. Guys, if you don't follow Tony on Instagram, Go check him out, Life of Ferrari. We are about to get a cold startup on a La Ferrari Aperta. Oh no, Tony got us. EV mode, are you kidding me? I promise you a cold startup. We got snaked right there. That's pretty sick though. Yes, the La Ferrari is a hybrid vehicle. Here it is, the La Ferrari Aperta, the most exclusive modern day Ferrari in the world. That's cool and all, but note this warning label. The maximum speed with winter tires, guys, is only 124 miles an hour. So if you have a La Ferrari Aperta and you're rocking Pirelli Soto Zeros, keep it under 124. It's pretty simple. Whoa, dude, this is sick. This is sick, this is sick, this is sick. Anthony, dude, thank you. You're this welcome, is so brother. sick, this is so cool. <laughs> This is so sick. This is how you go to Sunset GT in style. Cold tires, uh, wet pavement, 950 horsepower in a Ferrari Penta. So weird. Yeah, we're, we don't want to. We don't want too much. <laughs> okay. All right. Yep, yep, yep. We're good. We're good. We got a little shake and bake, but we're okay, guys. <laughs> camera is doing this justice right now like the whole back end is just shaking all about every time Tony accelerates even just slightly the whole back end goes like that unfortunately California come on California we needed sunny weather today it's a La Ferrari Aperta but uh, oh hello so we are headed off to GI Automotive. We got a whole crew we're gonna pick up and then we're rolling off to Sunset GT. Uh, we're still trying to figure out, do we take the hard top off or not? Uh, more to come. Seventh gear, automatic, 35 miles an hour. And welcome here to GI Automotive. The squad has assembled. We got the SVJ, the Performante, the Perf Spider, the Loft Aperta, the 650, and the 488. Uh, so we are going to remove the carbon hard top because sometimes in life, it's a La Ferrari Aperta. Like, this is it. This is the moment. We have to. Sure. Yep. Look at that. So unfortunately, you cannot stow the hardtop and the loft Ferrari. So we're gonna drop it off here at GI Automotive. So if it does start raining, uh, the curiosity portion of the vlog will be here. This thing is wicked, though. We got the GT3 RS. We got the 675 LT. The 488. Welcome here to GI Automotive. Yes. Whoa, this is a sick view. So we're at the second floor headquarters at GI Automotive. And Anthony is hooking us up. Whoa. Are these for me? So GI Automotive is a dealer for Pelodi shoes. Pelodi? Pelodi. We're the Pelodi. first little boutique for um, for them, and they've decided to do it here at GI Automotive in LA. Those Long are sick. 24 hours, St. on Ray. Limited edition, they're almost done. I saved you a couple of pairs. Oh, sick. Oh, these are gonna make me a faster driver, right? Is that, that's, not, that's a guarantee. You know what? I'm actually interested in your feedback to see how you like driving with the Pelodi sole, which is what I think this shoe is all about in your manual Gallardo. Yes, yes, yes. These shoes are sick. Unfortunately, it's raining, and so we're not gonna rock these today, but uh, when we get home, drive the manual Gallardo, yes. Los Angeles, what is going on? It is now pouring rain, so we had to put the top back on the La Ferrari Aperta. I know, trust me, I'm upset and triggered too, but it is what it is. Nothing quite like the La Ferrari Aperta making its entrance here to Sunset GT. And of course we have, hello. There it is, the new Koenigsegg Jesco. I don't know what that is, but that's very impressive. Very cool. Whoa. Lots of lines. Yeah, wow. This thing is insane. I don't know what that is, but it's raining and we're in a La Ferrari so. <laughs> We have the new Aston Martin Zygato shooting brake. Um, I don't know if we can get out though, so we're kind of sort of trapped in a loft aperta. There are worse places to be, but uh, we'll figure it out, don't worry. We have these stanchions right here. I think we're allowed to... Yep, 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 yep. 
Whoa, there it is, the new Koenigsegg Jesco, or is it Jesco? I'm not really sure. This thing is insane though. This car has been on its world tour going everywhere. What a monster. Then we have the Regera right there. Whoa, what? We have the key to the new Yesco. Obviously, I don't want to break anything, so I'm going to return this very, very quickly because if I was to drop this, my, my YouTube career would actually be over. Stepping in the Yesco. The door seal is so deep. Oh, we're good. We're good. Whoa, check this out. This could quite possibly be the first car to ever hit 300 miles an hour. I've seen all the videos on Instagram. I've been wanting to do this for so long. That is so sick. Check that out. One last shot for Bumble. This is it. If this doesn't do it, nothing will. Like, this is the only Yesco in the entire world. All right, we're going to try to squeak on out. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, I was. <laughs> out of nowhere, we have the Porsche 918 Spider. It's pouring rain. Oh, coming out in full force, we have the Remac Concept 2, and we have the world record of Gara RS, 277.9 miles per hour. So the Yesco, or the Jesco, is replacing the Gara RS. We're talking 1,600 horsepower. It has seven clutches. The transmission weighs in at around 75 kilos. This thing is next level. Great nation. Look at those Michelins right there. Carbon wheels, you got the green calipers. Dude, I cannot wait for this car to hit production. When that's gonna be, I have no idea, but I cannot wait. So this is the high downforce version. There's also gonna be the top speed version too. What do you guys think? Do you like the new Koenigsegg, or are you gonna miss the Agera RS? Of course, we got the Regera right there. You can totally see the evolution from Yesco to Regera. We actually rode in this car, uh, what? Two weeks ago, 1,500 horsepower. They're gonna be building 80 Regeras and 125 Yescos. He's pushing the brake right now. That's so sick. <laughs> I just wanted to point out that I'm wearing my SpongeBob shirt. For some reason or another, I always end up wearing this shirt when I do stuff that's really important. We got the Regera right here, the Yesco. But we're here at Sunset GT. We got supercars in every direction. I wish I could get one of these instead of an FF because this thing is wicked, but I think they're like a million dollars. I don't know for sure, but they're a lot of money. We have the Chiron right there, and we have that Mac Carbon Senna. Uh, the rain is kind of a bummer, but we're out here hustling. This is my favorite Senna in the entire world. Whoa, we got the McLaren GT. This car was unveiled like five days ago, and now it's here at Sunset GT. I think this is sort of like kind of maybe the replacement for the 570 GT. Check out this side intake that is taken straight from the McLaren Senna right there. That's finishing matte carbon by the way what do you guys think of the new gt it looks way better in person <laughs> you brought the wrong car you promised me a marcielago in the last vlog i have you quoted it's here wait where where it's, is it it's already in la we can, well, we're gonna we go make, see it today we can make a phone call and go get it we can make a call like right now we can make a call We've had a good weekend. We rode in a LaFerrari Aperta. Uh, we rode in a Carrera GT, a twin turbo Huracan. But there's nothing quite like the Lamborghini Murcielago LP640. Uh, this is the Eleanor of our generation. This is my airport ride. We've done it, boys. We've made it. Oh, no way. You're driving? Uber. Dude, this is sick. Yeah, I've watched you on YouTube. I got you. I've seen you on YouTube, too. Yeah, yeah, You're yeah. You're the guy with the channel name that never bought the car. One of 28 LP640 manuals in North America? 27. 27. According wow. to Ed Bullion, who Mr. knows Bullion. way more than me. Vin Wiki himself. Yes. This thing is so sick. It's gated manual LP640, six and a half liter V12, 640 horsepower. Okay. That's how you leave. Uh, yeah. Sorry. So sorry. Actually, you're welcome. You should be thanking us. The, the clutch slipped. We literally just yeah, had a no, burnout out of the Beverly Wilshire Hotel. <laughs> Might never, never be allowed to go back there. Wait, you know what? That's that's good because it's really too fancy. We didn't me. belong anyways. I mean, the last two people who should be at the Beverly Wilshire are David and I. So, yeah, we left our we left a last good impression. Chiron, beautiful car. But does it sound like this? Nope. <laughs> no, it doesn't. God bless Lamborghini and God bless the V12. Beverly Hills Police just shut down the road for us. It's very convenient, very considerate. This is sick. Can't make this stuff up. The door squeaks, just like mine. It's a Lamborghini issue. Lamborghini execs, if you're watching today's video, 
our doors are all squeaking. It's very embarrassing. Like we're trying to flex with the Aventador, or the V12, and then the door squeaks. Mercy owners think they're so much better because their doors go straight up and Aventadors go out. I have a theory. The reason why Aventadors have the squeaky door is because instead of going perfectly up, they kind of go. Oh, you're kidding me! Don't worry, don't worry. I'm gonna have vertical hold on, doors hold soon on. too. Oh, I heard a squeak. squeak! I heard a squeak! I heard a squeak! They all squeak! They all squeak! Yeah, that was a nice try. It's all right. Squeaky door squad. Honestly, this is pretty convenient. Isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. Okay, guys. Well, we're gonna take James to LAX. You don't have to close it. I don't. Are you no, sure? We got a whole closed road. Okay. Oh! Stop! Don't run this up. <laughs> Hold on, can your car do that? <laughs> no, my car cannot do that. <laughs> And to add it to the list of things that were wrong with this car that I've yet to get you to fix, air conditioning. Yeah, it's pretty hot in here. Actually, that's that actually very nice. Air conditioning. I can get my 405 shot. Check that out. Whoa. This is the bumble shot right here. Bruce, you log with LP640. We're just the trying to get a vlog of who can be the douchiest Lambo owner. Oh, yes. Now we're talking! <laughs> we're above! We're above! Auto shot! Auto shot! If you need an Uber in the greater Los Angeles area, contact Damon Fryer. He's open for business. We, we got the back, I don't know if you could sense, but the back end was like, we, we were sideways, but we lived. Only Damon would we have a police checkpoint at LAX. I have been here a thousand times, never a police checkpoint. Hey guys. Thank you. Don't do it, don't do it. I got a flight to catch. <laughs> I've never oh. seen you so controlled in your life. Only for you, man. <laughs> that would have been a clutch drop. Damon giving me the Uber ride. Anthony is my luggage. And then we just have the Aventador. Just because we can. Not that we need to. We can. <laughs> it was fun and all, but uh, I, got a, I got a flight to catch. What so. are you? I'm five. I'm American. Oh, yeah? Yep. See you later. Bye, Damon. I love you, Damon. <laughs> Keep there. Yeah, what? Bye, See you, man. man. That's right. That's Have right. Fly, buddy. See ya. Welcome to Salt Lake City, where the local time is 8:18. <laughs> it is freezing in Utah, but we made it home. Uh, guys, remember the Baby Mac is for sale on eBay Motors. Link in the description below. Go check it out if you have any interest. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, like squad. Be sure to smash that like button. But just like that, this vlog is over. And I'm out.